So today I'm going to do an unboxing and a review on the HP 24-DP0224 all-in-one machine. You got speaker or headphone connection. You've got an ethernet port here, HDMI output, catch power connector here, one USB port here, which is labeled with the mouse and keyboard adapter. So that's where I plugged it in. You don't have to, you can use any of these. These two are USB 2.0. So they're regular peripherals, mouse, you know, anything like that that doesn't do data transfer, you'd wanna use these two ports. These two are USB 3.0 super speed. So say you had an external storage drive, you'd wanna use these two because that's data transfer and the 3.0 is faster than 2.0. These two outsides for flash drives, anything where speed matters. So, one feature I do really love on this is your webcam, it just flips right up. Got a little pull tab, which is a great little feature if you are using this for a webcam, but you're concerned about privacy and security. You can just use it when you need it and then slide it right back down, and now your webcam is out of sight. Another feature I really like is the speaker grill here, kind of gives the feel of high audio performance. The whole machine is actually designed really well, it's very ergonomic. It's it, it's very sturdy. These feet right here are really durable. It's got a good amount of horsepower. It's got a Ryzen 5 processor, which means you're going to have pretty decent performance. Probably not for gaming. Uh, it's certainly not heavy gaming. You could probably do light gaming on it. I wouldn't expect anything like you would see on a typical gaming computer, but this could probably do some decent games. You're just not going to have super high-end performance. Now, this machine comes with a one terabyte SSD drive, which is great. It gives you plenty of space to store your files. Uh, and you get the combined performance of the SSD drive, which is great because it's going to be super fast for you. And as you can see here, opening folders, it's pretty darn quick. That's a ton of data. It's about 300 gigs worth of data that opened up very quickly. It comes pre-installed with Windows 11. So as far as application speed, like opening a browser, pops right up. No choppiness or uh, anything like that. It's pretty, pretty smooth. Let's pick uh, another one, Open Office, for example. See, it just pops right up, lightning quick. This machine comes preloaded with eight gigabytes of RAM, which is not bad, but that's kind of on the lower end of most computers nowadays. This machine will support up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. So you've got two slots in the computer and one eight gig slot in there. So you'd be able to easily add another eight gig. Pretty impressed with it. It's a little pricey for your average computer user. So for the sound test here, I'm gonna put my microphone about a foot away from the front of this machine. Pretty impressive. I think it sounds pretty clean. It's a little tinny, doesn't have a whole lot of bass. And of course, it has full Bluetooth capability. That is a nice little feature. I'd say overall for this machine, the performance is pretty impressive. It's uh, it's quite fast. 
Um, I don't particularly care for all-in-one desktops, I'll be honest with you. But I've been running this thing hard for the last 24 hours, and I put my hand over the, the exhaust port, and it's barely warm. So I'd have to say, all in all, for around 800 bucks, configured as it is, with 8 gigs of RAM, a terabyte drive, and a Ryzen 5 processor, I'd say it's a pretty good deal. So here's who I'd recommend this computer for. So if you work in an office and you want to have a good, reliable replacement machine, it is a touch screen, so that is convenient. I personally don't like the touch screen because I hate fingerprints. Um, it's a good quality machine. It's got a good build. Um, it is a little on the pricey side, but it does have a lot of horsepower for what you spend. And I noticed comparable machines are actually more expensive than that. So. It's on the higher end of what a traditional desktop PC would be that you would go get at your local Walmart or Best Buy. If you don't have an existing computer or a monitor, this is actually a decent upgrade because you would have to go buy a PC and a monitor and a mouse and a keyboard and all that stuff. Um, so this is kind of all in one and that's exactly what it is. It's an all in one. I would also not recommend this for kids. This is really not designed for a teenager, for example. Definitely don't recommend this for hardcore gamers. If you are playing Call of Duty type games, this isn't the machine for you. If you're playing games that require light to medium horsepower and performance, this is probably okay. Um, ideally, when I use this machine, the only thing I could really think was this would be perfect for a serious college student, somebody who's maybe working on finishing up their degree or maybe as a postgraduate this is just a good decent quality machine one of the downsides is that repair options for an all-in-one machine are going to be a little more expensive because essentially it's a big laptop all the parts inside are proprietary you can't run down to best buy or walmart and get a replacement video card for example so with the exception of the hard drive you're really limited on upgradability and also repair costs so that being said i'd say for the $800 price point, I would give it a thumbs up for sure. So some of the things I like about it, it has Windows 11. Some of the things I don't like about it, it has Windows 11. Windows 11 is brand new. I personally don't want to upgrade to Windows 11 yet because new operating systems always are buggy. So that may be something you're going to have to deal with. I do like the fact that the webcam pops up and it hides away for privacy. That is a big concern for a lot of people. And it also makes the machine look a little more streamlined when it's not in use. Sound quality. It's decent right out of the box. If you plug in some external speakers, that'll take care of all that. It's got super high resolution, full 1080p, 1920 by 1080, so that's great. This would be a decent machine to do uh, video editing on, for example, or anything like that that is processor intensive, but you don't need an absolute Ferrari. You just need something that's got some more horsepower. This would actually be a pretty decent machine. I could do video editing on this computer with no problem. I like the fact that it is upgradable to 16 gigabytes of RAM and really anything over 16 is kind of overkill nowadays. So that's good. You can just pop another memory card in there and boom, you just doubled your memory. Hard drive with being an SSD as time goes by and you want more drive space, that will be an option. Now I didn't get inside the machine. I didn't see if there is an external drive connection. I don't believe there is. It would be nice to have an SSD plus a spot for an external drive. Given that the SSD drive that's in there is a one terabyte, it is upgradable, but considering how much space a terabyte is, for a lot of people, they'll never use that much space. Me personally, that would last me six months. So that's an angle to consider. So ideally, this is probably best geared for a small to medium sized business. Uh, a serious college student. I wouldn't put this in somebody's dorm just to save space. This would be somebody who is still at home and working on graduating college and has dedicated school time. Um, like I said, this is good for gaming, but not hardcore gaming. And if you just want a machine that can sit on a tabletop somewhere near your kitchen and when you want to sit down and use it for social media or whatever, it would be absolutely fantastic. If the $800 price point doesn't scare you away, absolutely for sure. So I hope my review gave you guys a little more insight into the HP DP Series 0224 all-in-one machine. Overall, I'd give it a thumbs up. So I hope this helped you. So stick around on my channel for some more review videos. Thanks so much for watching.